them is going to follow them for the rest of their lives. You know, our children got access to the internet. And all some of the things that they put on the internet, put themselves on the internet older than they are. Put all kind of pictures on the internet. That stuff is going to follow them the rest of their life. No matter how smart they are. You know, they can be smart and, you know, and the college won't want them because they've been put all kind of pictures out on the internet. But we don't let them know this. We just sit back and we relax and we shout and we jump and we dance and speak in tongues. And our children are going to hell. Yes. But God is holding us responsible people. You know, my heart goes out for every one of them because I want them to have the best. We know, we know uh, Brother Robert been talking about McCormick and the atmosphere over McCormick. He's been talking about, you know, how everybody say that McCormick, you know, and we see that we don't have any jobs or, you know, we are not poverty and all these different kinds of things. And sometimes, you know, we feel like if our children are going to succeed, then they won't, you know, they won't succeed here. But if we were doing what we were supposed to be doing, praying and seeking God and God putting down strongholds, then McCormick can have be a successful town just like any other town. Yes. Yes. Amen. Sometimes it seems like the churches won't grow in McCormick. But it will if we do what we are supposed to be doing. God has set called us to a stand. He put us here for a reason. And we need to be doing what God has called us to do. We need to get with one accord and uh, raise our children. We need to stick together. When they stand against us, we need to be all standing for the same thing. Because that's what they do. They pull us one against another. Just like they do us, mom and dad. They pull church member against church member. Right. This one let me do what I want to do. So I love this one. <laughs> you know. But love... We got to look what look at what real love is. Real love is when we love our children enough to hurt them when they're doing the wrong thing. That's what real love is. One of my things I want, I would like to see our young people begin to do. When the word is going forward, you need to bring your little tablets and Jot down something that you might not understand that the preachers say or some things that you feel is a good thing that the preachers say or something that you want to ask, well, why did you say that? Jot it down. Start keeping notes. Make church be a part of you. Come on. Make church become a part of you just like you're a part of the church. You're going to have to... Sometimes we, as adults, we sit back and complain about this is not right and that's not right, instead of making things right. So if you start doing now, you start making things right, then, you know, it's not on anybody else, but it's on you. And I just want to say today I'm proud of each of you and I love you. Praise God, and I know, you know, this is not my usual message, but this is what God gave me. Because I am so, I mean, I know we can do a lot better than we do it. And we've come a long way. I want to encourage your name to keep saying, and want to, and you know, all of you, whatever you're doing, don't worry, and don't ever make it a competition. Whatever you do. Amen. Don't ever make it a comp competition, whether it's singing, whether it's dancing. Whatever you do, do it for the glory of God. For God, for what God is going to do into you, do to you for doing it. Because God loves your innocence. When you start making a competition, it's no longer innocent. But it's all about you. Amen. But when you do it, just because you enjoy doing it, because God gave you the gift to do it, Praise God, God smiles on it. Yes. Don't worry about it. Don't do like I, I've done. Pastor to do sometimes. Pastor said he told me he was tone deaf. <laughs> he stopped singing for a while. You know, a lot of things I've stopped doing, and not because God told me to stop doing it, but 
it's because what I thought somebody else thought about what I was doing. That's right. But when you, you know, sometimes when we get mad, you know, when we don't care what nobody hear us say or see us do, yeah. we need to get that same attitude mm -hmm. about what we do for God. I don't care what nobody else say about it. If they don't stand up, good. If they stand up, good. But when you do what you do and know that you've done the best, then that's all God requires. Yes, yes. God bless you and I love you. And I want, to, I want to get a hook from all of you today before I leave here. All of you young people. Because I really, I really, I'm proud of you. You know, I feel like I'm that God did uh, a couple of years ago, uh, I think I told some of them that I was going to be watching their attitudes and, you know, I was going to, whoever had the best attitude, I was going to take them shopping. And it seemed like every one of them started acting as bad as they could. <laughs> I had one or two for a while, they would just run up there trying to, you know, they tried brown nose, but, you know, and I was hearing all the stuff in the background. But when God began to deal with me the other week, he told me, take them all. He said, you know, I know I'm going to have to do it in stage, but God said, take them all. He said, you might have to, he told me, just take them out and eat with them and talk to them. So you might have to go somewhere that you don't really enjoy to, you know, for them to enjoy themselves and take them all. So this is something you all can look forward to. As soon as I get the time, and the resources that will be taking you all. God bless you. Bless. Love you.